day one training CC. We'll see how it goes. Hey, CC. Let me show you a beautiful calf. Hey, little boy. You sure are beautiful. Seems to be active. See this one? Super engorged. She doesn't like me squeezing on it. But, hey, CC, calm down. I think it's too big for the calf to drink on. Hey, calm down. We need to get her in the stanchion. I think we got her a little bit smaller. She's kind of tasty. Whoa. <laughs> I had them separated yesterday. And it was the funniest thing ever. Okay. So let me tell you the story. Um, oh my goodness. That calf is so cute. Just over there. So I had my buddy over. And so I was a, a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So I was a representative of the Lord. And it was one of the best experiences I've had in my life and one of my um, partners over there one of the other missionaries fellow missionaries he um, hey, he actually lives just down the road from me you know about 40 minutes away but he lives not too far away and it was amazing I had him and his family over so cool to interact with them again and while he was there we had so many <laughs> so many uh, challenges on the farm this beautiful dog right here got out of her pen uh, Leroy the bull got out of his pen and he came over to try and interact with the ladies over here and um, the baby calf got lost I mean was lost to the humans not lost to the cows because uh, cows know exactly where where he was because it, here he is right there so so there's not a, a question about whether he was there Anyway, it just goes to show that, you know, you can uh, sit there, you can plan out a lot of stuff. You know, I kind of anticipated like a nice, nice evening or a nice uh, morning. We had them over for breakfast and here, here, here. They're so cool. So cool, these cows are. Um, had them over for breakfast. Anyway, I anticipated just kind of hanging out and enjoying uh, their company. And then all these things happen. So it, uh, I don't know, it's fun. Life on the farm, you know, one thing I love about it is you never know what you're going to get when you wake up in the morning. You might think, hey, I'm going to do these projects today. And then your cow and dog have a little fight, or they don't, and you um, have to resolve something else. But it's, uh, it's a fun life. You know, it's a very fulfilling life. I thought a lot about doing a series of videos where I share my thoughts about uh, corporate America versus farm life and things that I've learned on the farm um, that could help in corporate America and things that I'm grateful that I don't have to deal with in corporate America. Um, I, but uh, I might get to that. Life is sweet. Freedom is critical. There's a battle for freedom these days. And, you know, do you want to give away your freedom to someone else? Whether it's a freedom, you know, religious freedom. You know, they were arresting preachers and such due to the COVID junk a while ago. But uh, do you want to give up your religious freedoms? Do you want to give up your um, financial freedom where it's in control? You know, it's being controlled by someone else. And if they say, I want you to do this and you don't want to do it well you need to do it otherwise you won't have that paycheck anymore um or your health freedom you know where you're dependent on the store for basic products i'd like for juliet and the cows and such to get along because next week the pigs are going to find another uh another resting spot not out there in the uh, pasture that they're at underneath the tree but in our freezer and in other people's freezers so 
Um, the, so our dog's going to need some, some other animals to play with, and I'd love for it to be these cows, but we'll just see. So, yeah, what kind of freedoms are you willing to give up, and which ones do you want to, uh, to keep and to fight for? Look at this cow right here. It is so, so fulfilling, like, being out here. You know, it, it might not be fulfilling for some people. You know, my friend's uh, kids, they each had a different perspective on farm life. And my kids all have a different perspective. Seems like the majority of my kids like the farm life. They haven't complained. Um, in fact, they, they really get excited. I should show you around to the new additions. We've got a brand new kitten. We've got some brand new baby chicks. We've got a brand new, uh, well, the rabbit, I think you've seen in previous videos, but... Um, it's just fun, you know, to see the life, to see things grow, to see things flourish. Um, and it, it it's fulfilling. So you got to find what's fulfilling for you. Maybe, maybe sitting at a desk and making positive differences and changes in a corporation is fulfilling for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. Let me show you this. These cows versus a dog. A fence in between. Oh, look at that cute baby. Look at these beautiful wildflowers that are just growing. Like, you not plant any of this stuff. It just happens, and there's all this life. See, there's like a little grasshopper on that white uh, flower there. All these little bugs flying around. The life and the world around us is fascinating. You just have to take the time to look at it. It is just incredible to see there's bees, you know, pro hopefully our bees that are gathering uh, pollen to uh, make the make the honey for us. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. But if you're too busy with your life and you never see all these little miracles, then I encourage you, take a deep breath. Start looking for shapes in the clouds. Look at all the little miracles and tender mercies around you, and your life will change. If you're having a hard time seeing happy things, start looking for those, and you'll see them, because they're everywhere, you know? I mean, you could view these cows as work, or you could say, you know what? That's possibility, that's happiness. That's, like, I'm helping their beings, their lives, to be better and happier, and it's really neat, really neat. So until next time, Thank you for joining me on Finding Freedom Farm.